Hello everyone, we are back with our Ranker series. We have Gopinath, our previous batch student who have qualified GPAT, NIPER and many other examinations with very, very, very excellent ranks. Uh, let me introduce his uh, achievements in brief. He has qualified GPAT 2022. Four with rank 47. Niper JEE, he has three ranks 0 2 overall, MBA rank 0 1, and MTech rank 0 6. Again, he has also qualified Manimbal entrance test with rank 0 1. Yes, all India rank 0 1. And Gate Excel, he has also qualified. And now he is with Niper SAS Nagar Mohali uh, in the branch of Department of Pharmaceutical Management. Uh, so this is his brief introduction. I want to make Gopinath comfortable with the audience. So let's uh, ask a very, very casual question. Please introduce yourself, Gopinath. Hello, Hello. Hello guys. Thanks for the brief introduction. My name is Gopinath and I'm currently pursuing Pharma MBA, Naipas Asnahali. As I has clearly mentioned, I have qualified many exams like GPAT, the holding the rank of 47, and Niper is the rally in the rank of two. And after crossing GDPI, I got a rank of one in MBA and Manipal Indians just one. Yeah. yeah. So Gopinath, you are with Niper and you are Niperian, a very prestigious uh, tag that uh, pharmacy students aspire for. But many don't know the uh, benefits of being a Niperian. So can you please uh, differentiate between a Niperian and non-Niperian in terms of the opportunities, the grooming, the uh, connections and everything that you have faced, like you have uh, found that this is the thing we we people aspire to be Niperian. Yes, ma'am. Before being a Niperian, it's every pharma friend's dream to come into Niper, especially Niper Sasna Mohali and Hyderabad and the way I changed grooming and my personal life and everything has changed drastically when I come to Niper. Even my body language, my communication, my soft skills, everything has literally changed and the, the change is very drastic. When I was doing my UG in Tamil Nadu, it was Madras Medical College. I was a different person, completely different person. My attitude, my way of speaking, my way of approaching, everything changes and when it's being an Iperian, you, you they get the tag and it has a lot of opportunities. Opportunities in the sense, you have some more personal connects with the industry experts and in Niper, especially Niper Sasnaha, there are a lot of events and organizing uh, committees and organizing events has been taking place, which we get an opportunity to take part in and which uh, help us to groom ourselves and be a better person. That's the overall advantage that we get as being a Niperian and also the placements and have, we have tremendous opportunities at Niper. So you have highlighted a very important point that you have developed your soft skills and from your UG you have developed your personality which makes uh, you corporate ready. So yes, uh, people are, at the end of the day they want to uh, uh, offer a very very high paying jobs and corporates are looking for people who they don't need to groom from very start they are groomed to a level that they can keep the company can keep you as an employee so this is a very important perk that an Iperian get apart from this uh, because you were our student how farmers help you during your preparation time if you can mention some instances there are various instances that I could state because pharma means as my backbone for my entire G pattern micro preparation. Yes, there are some controversies, but still, my backbone for my preparation is entirely uh, pharma means. Whenever I have doubt, I'll directly call our beloved founder, Arthak sir, and he is always, he uh, always take my calls and he'll message then and there when I need any support. I watch all the recorded videos of every subject, especially organic chemistry, let it be microbiology, let it be pharmacology, cognacy, everything was fruitful for me, especially for my preparations. And the most important point that I would know, uh, could state is the weekly test. I never miss the test. I always try to attend the test. Every week, I'll consider that week as a new week so that I'll continue my preparation with the same consistency that I for the weeks. So this consistency 
along with my support with farm means led me to the into niper now so it is very important when you say that uh, farmer minds was your backbone this is a very very uh, big statement because uh, what it means is that whenever you feel misguided or whenever you feel confused you have somebody to help you guide you your beloved found our beloved founder akash sharma sir was there to pick your phone up to help you out of your stress conditions and when you solve mcq which is a very very important element because of course gpet is an mcq based examination and the more you the more mcq you solve the more sharper you are so there must be times when you must have come across some mcqs which you have not studied before so or maybe you you must have come across a situation where you have got a little below rank of uh, a low performance status now how did you deal with that kind of situations yes sir these are also a lot of instances that i faced and the thing is uh, when we are giving this there are usually lot of questions that we don't know and that gives an advantage of learning that question in a new manner so we get to get an opportunity to learn a new question that is how i consider myself when i am approaching such questions and there are a lot of questions which i have doubt i will always analyze all the four options especially mm-hmm. if i get the option is correct then it is fine if i am not knowing it then i must not study the concept in a proper way or else i will do a mistake over there even if i studied it properly so i will analyze it i will note it down and i revise it i only not only study the answers if i get wrong i also study the options other options why those and options didn't come so this kind of analysis will help to strengthen our concepts in a very good way so that our approach to the exam will be very fine and there are various instances that i feel i got low ranks uh, low ranks which demotivated me mm-hmm. so even at that time i will call my mentor even uh, uh, deepan sir i have called many times and he will really motivate me a lot and those kind of mentorships must needed when we are preparing because mm-hmm. since the 52 paper gpet syllabus is very vast we cannot study entire thing and especially mm-hmm. in the starting of the preparation i was really struck to what to study what not to study because in the gpet syllabus you can't cover at a time and if you start the start reading our standard books at the end of the final years and it is very difficult to cover the entire subject entire gpet mm-hmm. preparation so those notes were concise and it is up to you to mark whatever is needed is given there so i prepared over it and led it to my success yes you highlighted a very important point that analyzing the test like giving the test is not the ultimate goal you have to analyze what went right how what were its concept to revise the concepts again in the answer section and then what went wrong why it went wrong what was the logic what mistake you made like you just didn't focus on the question or you just don't knew the concept were the other important elements of solving an mcq in the correct manner because uh, what i have observed is that students often uh, don't uh, utilize the mcqs test uh, wisely they just so give it out of bluff without revising they don't get better day by day so yes so there must be any weak subject of yours and uh, people often uh, don't study the weak subjects because they are very very afraid of it so how did you tackled it like your fear of the weak subject yes ma'am yeah. actually the biggest problem that i face is mugging up things since a lot of subjects involve a mother thing we have to mug it up very often especially in pharma pharmacy especially the drugs families correct and all those stuff i felt it very hard but the beauty is i studied those things with the mnemonic hmm. which i found in the pharma mains book and our sanit jain sir has explained it very clearly so i studied with the mnemonic so that i can retain it for a longer time this is how i approach whatever i face difficulties especially not only in pharma pharma pharmacy but also in oncology those mnemonics really helps us a lot to retain it for a longer period of time so if you face any difficulties in any subjects try to convert those topics or the points that you usually forget as a mnemonic and study and when you practice it again it is kind of a small revision for you when you practice the questions so this is how i approach 
procedural subjects or the tough subjects that I faced. So uh, yes, pharmacognosy is a subject because you have to memorize a lot of things, a completely theoretical subject, family thing and identification test and uh, the transfer sections and everything. But yes, uh, you rightly said, let's make the subject less serious with the tricks and mnemonics and let's try to enjoy it rather than just skipping it because yes, pharmacognosy also holds a lot of weightage in the examination so you can't just skip it like any other subject so yes it is a very important point that let's play try to play with the subject and make it less heavier correct yes. point so you must have uh, uh, took some mentorship from your NIPER seniors because they have already traced the path correct so do you think that that really played an important element in your journey wherever you feel misguided like the persons from NIPER itself Yes, yes. During my preparation, I also use LinkedIn, oh. where I usually give a lot of connections to connection requests to NIPER seniors. Because being in a UG, as a UG student, we'll always fascinated how NIPERs are. And their, their lifestyle is very fascinating. And the journey when they entered into NIPER and the transformation that they took after being a NIPERian is phenomenal. So I usually give LinkedIn request and I also ask various seniors throughout my journey and also in our mentor is also an Iberian, yeah. he's my senior. So usually my preparation journey is to always surrounded by my naive seniors. They have helped me a lot and then there they have clearly addressed my doubts and what to do and what not to do. Especially they have envisioned me and lightened me with giving up more tests because they so I am not able to recognize the senior's name but he once told the sentence that you should have a revision and the tests are the two key for your success you must revise and also you should give tests they should be considered as your eyes this is what he said so I took it seriously and I uh, always re revise and I always give tests just like you use LinkedIn, I even use my LinkedIn a lot because I didn't have a lot of NIPER connections before. My my UG college have very few NIPERians and then many, actually I remember their names also, they have guided me immensely and I'm immensely grateful just like you are because yes, that is fascinating. You make some mistakes that you realize from their experience and everything. So yes. So any advice to your juniors on the basis of strategy or any mistake that you have uh, pinpointed after your examination also and before any, during a time of preparation that they should focus on and should not repeat it just like you must have did. Yes, the mistake that I usually do is initial stages, I usually don't give tests. But once I realized, I, uh, I was consistent with my giving tests. So the thing is, people usually think, if you are not studying, how am I supposed to give the test? Correct. If I am not studying, I will get only less marks. But students should think that as an opportunity to uh, approach those questions. Even from tests, you can learn more things. So this is the only advice. And be consistent and put your hard works and hard work never fails. I'm an example because very very important point because yes people uh, miss exam people miss tests they say that i will complete all my tests in this month from this month they procrastinate things they just there is a backpack of tests they that which is in the pending section and that never gets completed at least exam dene ke baad tak bhi complete nahi hota hai and then you must have come across some situations where the questions get repeated in the main, main examination and you must have think yes, yes i solved it uh, back then and you must have there are various examples ha ha because you must have got yes. the four marks and that four marks bring lot of happiness <laughs> at the very point of time that yes i secured four more marks because i solved that test people don't uh, understand the importance of giving test and they just procrastinate and which is a very important point you highlighted i hope your juniors listen to you carefully and follow your mentorship because yes the points you raised 
were very important any last uh, conclusion line to your juniors or anybody that you want to give be confident and if you are feeling any doubt doubtful to you just call to your mentors and give the test consistently and revise things because yeah it's february now and everyone should be in the revision phase because it's three months for the gbat and so you will get the niper but if you are being consistent for the this days you will definitely crack it now all the best for your exams and welcome to niper soft letter thank you very much gopinathi it was pleasure talking to you i hope you are having a very great time and uh, i hope the best for your future endeavors thank you thank you ma'am